guys, coming from Clash, and today we're bringing us a new video. And I'm right now in the Clan Notorious 9, and as you guys can see, my buddy Raven and Jesus, I, I misclicked that, they're both pushing right now to Champions League. So let me just do a say hi to YouTube, and also my buddy Kig is in there. The guy I keep telling you guys um, is like a go wipe champion, a go wipe, we go wipe, whatever, or go wee wee, he's like hella good at it. Pretty much that's the guy I always go to to ask him about that stuff. So basically, yeah. Let me just do a say hi to YouTube real quick. Um, and basically, Raven is, I think, less than 200 trophies away from Champions League. And Jesus is like 30 or 40 trophies or 60 trophies. I don't remember. I'll probably look, but I want to let them all say hi real quick. And basically, they're really close. And I joined their clan so I could support them pretty much and make a vid about it. And basically, I'm just like chilling. I don't really know what to do, honestly. So I was like, hey. They're both almost at Champions League. Let me just come. And basically, I boosted my barracks too because I need to farm the crap out of my base. Because I got, I'm got i such an idiot. I had three builders on the same day. So basically, I need to farm a lot just so I can get those builders all working. So I got one builder working today. He's working on a Tesla right now. And basically, that Tesla's going up. And I have 1.7 mil. And I have two builders available. I got these two Expos. Um, these two expos, what's it called, these two arch towers now, so basically I'm pretty good to go right now. So let me show you guys the clan real quick. So Raven fan or Jesus, first of all let's start with Jesus because he's higher in trophies. He's basically like less than 40 trophies, like 33 trophies off, pretty much. And he's super close right now, and this is probably his trophy record rate. Yeah, it is his trophy record. And also, King, he's made it to way farther, 3,441, yeah. So that's he's also he's also used go wipe and I think he's two star in max base with his town all nine go wipe so, and there's Raven fan his max is three thousand fifty nine so that's the trophy record and he's really close right now uh, I think he's actually searching for a base right now that's why he's not on the chat but basically um, yeah that wraps it up pretty much so he's pushing and hopefully they can hit Champions League today we don't know yet but we'll see about that. Okay, so let's go back to base. Let's see if we can find any raids. Uh, let me just show you guys a few raids. So basically, here's my attack log. So there's that. There's that. There's that. This actually used 100 troops. And then this one also used 100 troops. So I was conserving a lot of resources doing those raids. And basically, I've just been making so much loot right now. And it's amazing. Uh, these two expos look so sick right now. Oh my god, man. Um, I'm also in a war right now in 110%. I'm about to go back. Um, but I just came here so I can support them, basically. So, yeah, basically, that's how it is right now. Um, I'm just waiting for Raven to get on the chat if he can. But I think Raven Fen was at, like, Masters 2 today. And he's pushed a lot, so. Shout out to him. He's doing a really good job. But let's see if I can actually find a base right now to raid. Because I am... Boosting two barracks because I'm trying to raid as much as possible so I can get as much loot as possible. And I I have to go to sleep soon. So basically, I'm trying to like make at least, I want to get at least 4.5 mil today. But it's kind of an overkill. But let's see if we, er, overshot. Let's see if we can get it. Hopefully I can. And yeah. um, Looking for bases is so boring, honestly. It's probably the most boring part in Clash. And it... Literally is so annoying that you just don't want to farm anymore, especially like down in gold leagues. Sometimes you can get it really fast, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you like you have to wait like 10 15 minutes to actually find a base with loot, and that really sucks because you waste a lot of gold and a lot of time, and you're just really bored out. That's why I really hate farming, but then again, it's really necessary if you want to get your base up really fast. If you just keep pushing, pushing like how I did in the first few months of getting Tunnel 9, my base was still crap, but I was so high in trophies. But if you farm, then your base will be beast, so when you come to push, you'll have a better defensive base. So basically, that's how it's going right now. I think I have like three arch towers left to farm, uh, one Tesla left to start upgrading to seven. Oh yeah, I did I did my Teslas just so, um, because I needed to get my builders working as fast as possible, and I didn't have time to farm up 4.5 mil. So I just did 3.5 mil, and I just did it uh, just so I can get those builders working. Because I want to keep all five builders working at the same time. I don't want to like keep one or a few just not working and just keep one working. Because then you're wasting time, basically. And if you get all those builders working, you'll be able to upgrade your base way faster than if you just had one working at a time. 
And that's why it's really hard to make so much loot, especially now that the defenses are so much more expensive. But yeah, um, I'm not really finding a base right now, so it's kind of boring for you guys, I guess. Uh, if we don't find a base in the next few skips, I'll probably just end back and go back to the chat and check if Raven went on. If he didn't, we'll just watch a replay and it'll probably end it there. We'll see right now. Um, no. And I don't only go for bases with, uh, with just, um, dead bases or collector loot or whatever you call them. Um, I just use, I just, if the base is easy enough to get inside the core, I go for it. With barge, that is. And if it isn't, I probably just skip it. Like the other one of the Town Hall 8 with like level 8 walls and stuff, that's why I skipped it because I knew I couldn't get inside the base. Because my barbarians and archers would just be banging against the wall while the mortar just kills them. But if it was like low level walls, then it's super easy to get inside the base with barge, especially when you just drop in your heroes and bam, you got in. And I'm going for gold right now, not any elixir, because elixir is easy for me because usually you find that around with the gold. If you don't, then you still have a lot. Um, I'm just going for gold, honestly. And the elixir I'm just using on walls, pretty much. That's why I'm pretty low on elixir. I had like 2-3 million before, and I just used them all on walls. So, I don't think we're going to find a base anytime soon, so I'll just waste the boost so I can make the video. But I guess we'll just go down here, hopefully, you know. It's not on yet. So, I guess Raven's not going on. Uh, let's just watch a replay. So, this one was actually some decent loot. Um, that was a Town Hall 9. See, this is a base I was talking about. I did not just go for collector loot on the outside. Um, I'll see, I'm gonna lure out the BK right there, um, basically I take him out, um, standard barge, everything's going well, uh, just, I'm gonna speed this up because it looks pretty boring, honestly, but basically, this was a weird style base, I thought there were gonna be some giant bombs, but luckily there wasn't, so I just got inside the base easily, I dropped in my heroes after my clan castle, everything was going very well, Low level defenses, they just banged against walls, they had some fun, and easy as hell. They got so much loot, and that was a really fast raid. Basically, I, this is how you do it down here. And I ended the the replay so my BK wouldn't lose so much health, and I made a lot of loot. So okay, so before I go, uh, I just wanted to um, show you guys the replay. I just went on right before, right when I ended the video, Raven I just went on and... Pretty much, he two-starred a maxed out Town Hall 10. But he did have a farming base, but still, it is a maxed out Town Hall 10. And he had both here. Okay, he didn't have both heroes up. But basically, they were still boosted, but it was a hella good base. And he ended up two-starring it for 19 trophies. That's a lot. So let's just watch this raid. Um, I haven't even watched it yet. I just saw this base, and I was like, holy crap. I need to record this. But basically, Raven has went on finally. Um, and he posted this epic raid. So basically, look at that loot, too. Like, 400k, man. And basically, I think he's going to go for the one star on the outside like with clearing the small structures and taking out the easy defenses. So basically, that's those two. Those minions have easy structure. I think he's going to take out those arch towers, right? Because those are going to be a real pain. These ones especially, and this one right here. And we'll see how he does it. Yes, he sends in those balloons. I think he's going to send these ones too with rage right about here. Yes, the clan castle loons, and then he sends in a bunch more because he knows that these there's a lot of defenses up there, especially that air defense, that Tesla, those multi-target infernos. Like that's one freaking a lot. That's a lot of defenses right there. Basically, he's gonna plop down those minions, take out those free structures, and clutch his two star. Hopefully, this goes well for him, which we already know it did. But he's doing pretty well, uh, as you can see. The air defenses are tucked inside the base, so they cannot reach the outside. So this base is really easy to toot one star, as you can see, and also free town hall, so equals two stars. So basically, you got 19 trophies off this. That's a hella good offer for a two star using Lunian up here, because usually you go for one stars because two stars are really hard to get up here, and usually you boost. And this is like more than you asked for because he didn't even use his heroes, and he already has it, and he has two raid spells left. So props out to you, man. That was a really good raid. And yeah, he ends. He did not get any of that loot, but then again, he did get the nice, juicy Masters One loot bonus. I don't think I don't remember what it was. I think it was a hundred k of each for Masters Three, hundred twenty-five k for each Masters Two. And I think it's like nine hundred dark, a hundred fifty k of each in Masters One. I don't remember, but we will see. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Captain Your Clash, and this time for reals. Peace out. See you guys later.